Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another little test pour using the um, Prism paints. These are by Colour Art and they are kind of like a ready-made, thick, creamy, luscious, sparkly jar of gorgeousness. So there's the prism pour. So I am actually doing a test to see if I can use these paints directly out of the jar with no mixing of anything else with them um, onto um, my little canvas there. And I'm going to use that Amsterdam Black and Floetrol to swipe over my prism paints. I have got just a base paint which was white house paint that I give a good squirt of global high flow um, fluoro pink into it into the house paint to give it some color so it's very thick and I believe that I really should have thinned that down with flow troll uh, you know maybe put a bit of the flow troll or just even water into my um, paint because it was very very thick almost like a pancake so um, let's look at that lusciousness oh that is absolutely just a jar of gorgeous lusciousness so I was just as you see doing using these prism pour um, paints directly from the container um, that was the gold I am not quite sure because I'm doing a voiceover because there was a lot of noise going on in my studio that day it was pouring with rain I had the dogs in and out barking and I had um, my washer and dryer on so hence I'm doing a voiceover while it's nice and quiet sitting here um, and those colours that I was just laying on of the prism pour. Oh, that one looks a little bit thick or I hadn't got enough on my um, little paddle pop stick. But yeah, just layering them on because I intend doing a swipe. Look at that, that's so sparkly. That's gorgeous. So just layering them all on. Look at the colours. They are just superb colours. So now I'm putting on just the, um, this is the Amsterdam Black with Floetrol. So I'm using, it's got no silicone in anything. So I'm just going to swipe with this and hopefully get some nice luscious effects on it. So yeah, just sit back, relax and watch the magic happen.
So I've given it a real good spin there and as you see the paint is so thick on there it's really hard to move but the one thing it is is really um, sparkling and very um, it is quite gorgeous even with the dark bit in it it just makes it pop so um, I was actually quite pleased with this because it was just something a little bit different than I normally do but uh, you will see when I come up close that it's just sparkly and I've got a great big grub in there so um, yeah there was something organic in it again <laughs> So I hope very much that you like this little art lab experience again and I will definitely do the same process again but I'm going to thin down my paints. I will thin the base paint down and I will mix those prism pour with a little bit of water I believe. I think that's what it says on the jar is just to mix with a little bit of water if they're too thick. So next time I will just mix with the water. Here we are on the close-up. I just wanted to see if that prism pour would, you know, do anything straight from the container without, because it is supposed to be a pre-mixed um, paint, and it does certainly work. But yes, look at the gl the glistening. Ooh, I've got a slug or something similar there um yes it certainly works beautifully and that was just with the australian flow troll and the amsterdam as a swipe so it wasn't particularly after i'm not after a bloom or anything i didn't blow it as you've seen it was a swipe but it's really sparkly um yeah i'm very happy with it so yeah let me know what you think that's a great big dirty old swipe with the um, prism pour paints so there you go just gonna keep experimenting different uh, techniques with these paints as well see what i can get so thank you so much for joining me you gorgeous people until tomorrow um i'll say bye for now